three people. Are you easy, Chief? He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. You cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, 
Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when their commander's killed, they turn the place upside down. Here. While you're there, don't upset her. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Dad? Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. No one has better <laughs> Good. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, Fox. They've already sent one of their Buckwits? Who? That fellow. Uh, 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 Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... A uh, 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 hundred and twenty... A uh, uh, hundred and... Uh, <laughs> that... Can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. I craft and carry only the pipes. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Job? No luck yet. 
It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can, and now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password, Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. make a difference I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump but I don't know you maybe that's because I just got into the city for reals wow respect I heard that outside the walls it's a bloodbath what does this have to do with the job nothing my friend just sussing you out and I like what I've sussed so far but about the job first and foremost it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriant. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. There's no time for delay. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. The fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. The 
Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. Going, kiddo. It seems I met Carl before you. And Sophie? Doing a thing for her now. A thing? I'm helping save her brother's ass. Good. Gain her trust. Sophie might know something about Lucas's death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy. What happened? Some infected attacked us. Tore our windmill apart. All our UVs are down. I'm not sure how I can help. If we don't get our lamps back on, we won't survive the night. All right, I'll do what I can.
Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Sophie, it's Aiden. I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kotak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You want to <laughs> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Hey, Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One... Two... Three... Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Great. Ugh. <laughs> 
That's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected. When they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Must be birdies. The trash would lead me to him. Hey, you find Birdie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. <laughs> I wasn't going down without a fight.
who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. All thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... <sighs> Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Apparently, you've got blood on your face, man. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind's blowing from the east. That's a bad omen. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. 
Bertie was like a brother to me. But for some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Oh. Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Bertie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Bertie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Those crystals. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became 
full of himself and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. <laughs> 